kind of shifted away from it being a popular pick to not really much one, one wow. much at all. And actually, Ezreal, okay. So. Winner of this match uh, makes a big step, I would say, to potentially becoming a playoff team. Both of these teams really on the edge. You know, are they going to be a bottom team? Are they going to be one of the top teams? That song would have been so moves. much better. Yeah, a little bit of an early gank attempt coming in from Lyra. Snowfire is going to bring him in. Madlife actually in a lot of trouble here. Flashes away. It's got the shield. They're chasing. Madlife so low. Ignite used. Here comes Trying bubbling. to turn it around. Yeah, bubbling all over Snowflower now. And that's going to be first blood over to CJ. Africa Freaks going for that early aggressive gank. And CJ responding well. Jungle path. Oops. Actually very impressive from Bubbling to be there. Wow. Yeah, was... Africa Freaks gets that first dragon too. So CJ not able to control it. Oh, Ixu taking a lot of damage. He's got a slash though. He'll be fine. Doesn't even need to use it. It's in a small oh, way, but that's wait a smart second. timing. Do I see a fight over the Rift Herald uh -oh. coming? Bubbling's a bit low. Mickey coming with the package and Africa Freaks, they're going to win this one. Sky on the run. Oh, nice baby. hook by Snowflower. And that is why Snowflower is good on that thread. She can Another make plays. Another cataclysmic fight over the Rift Herald. This time goes to Afrika. Two fights over the Rift Herald in, in one series. I can't believe it. They don't have an Ezreal to even oh, try whoops. steal. Oh, wah, wah. What is up with leashing today? That happened, yeah. I mean, we've, we've seen some, some issues with leashing on both teams today. It's been, it's been weird. I'll have to settle for the Rift Herald instead. And no one wants it. Everyone walked away yeah. from it. <laughs> That's true. Nobody wants it because he's like, ah, I yeah, guess whatever. I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Here you go. Oh, yeah. On to Song Yun. There's a Fates call. Song Yun getting very low. Arcane shifts away. Gets stunned. Gets killed. There's a kill for CJ. Another one over to Kramer. He's got both of them in this game so far. I mean, the passive from Braum between the slow that Kalista has. Tara on the run. The TP is going to come in. Sky is trying to make a play here. Ixu has to E back behind him. There's the ult onto Sky. Ult onto Mickey. Wild Growth used onto Sky, but here comes Lyra. Dodges a cocoon, but can't dodge a Phosphorus Bomb. And Mickey picks up a kill there. Very clean game from Africa. Oh, boy. Yeah, Kramer a little bit trapped underneath this turret. There's a nice cocoon from Lyra going in. He may not even need much help. Drewshot Barrage comes through. Kramer dodging around, and he's going to actually pick one up. Wow. What a play from Kramer. It's really not nice killed, but he, Yeah, he turned it into a trade. But they cannot let Afrika Freaks get that big Dragon Edge again. Here comes CJ just walking right in. Flash out from Madlife. They get the knock up on the Snowflower, immediately turning onto the Dragon, immediately having to back off as well. And the Teleport coming in really late for Antara, actually. Already about halfway down on that Narbar. CJ is going to try another engage here. See if they can make it work. Dragon low, and CJ doesn't get it. Lyra comes in for the smite at the last moment. Madlife throwing in with the face call. Nice three-man knockup. CJ looking for a bit of revenge. They get two kills already, and this is the kind of fight that CJ wanted. Nearly an ace, and man, are the Afrika Freaks lucky that Lyra got that dragon. That's Lyra, he's got smite again. Oh, boy. I don't know. He'd have to be quite the hero. Yeah, Untara's going to zone him out. Smart thing to do just in case. Baron is going to go down, so CJ gets Baron on all five members. What a turnaround. Oh, nice block from Mad Life. That was close. Dives off the top rope, this Mad Life. Really nice play from CJ. There's Lyra. Mad Life a little bit on his own. Could get collapsed on. Kramer oh there, too. This looks a little bit iffy for CJ. We'll see what they can do. Cocoon misses. Kramer a little bit low already, though. Fates call used. They're going to pull him to safety. They're going to go in on to Lyra. Here comes Ixu, though. Could be a big ultimate. Gets knocked up, though. Ixu doesn't get anything out of that Lissandra ultimate. CJ turns it around. They're going to win another team fight handily. Double kill. Make it a triple for Kramer. And this is a CJ team fighting that we know wins games. It's not even a team fight, though. It was a 4v5, and they crushed Africa. They yeah. thought they could take advantage. They thought they could burst down Kramer. They didn't respect the QSS, and he killed everyone. Wow, that was that was an impressive turnaround. Well, Kramer put the carry pants on. He did, yeah. So uh, that's that you've got about CJ winning if they pick up wins. I know, right? pretty good. Strange. Well, they're certainly in position to make a around 40 minutes. It doesn't look like this game's gonna go 40 minutes, or at least competitive-wise, after CJ easily pick up their first track. It's excellent, this is exactly what Africa did last game. They're being assertive. This is the situation where CJ was just running around. Whoa. They're gonna jump over, stop the smite, essential even coming. The wombo combo, Bromalt into the Naralt. CJ looking for another team fight. Corky packages his way to safety, but Lyra stuck and taken out. 
Yeah, they really look comfortable with this composition, you know, with this position in the game, and why shouldn't they? They're 10,000 gold ahead, easy inhibitor turret, and an easy inhibitor for CJ. And now, the inhibitor destruction begins. They already took out the bottom inhibitor turret a little while ago. They have nothing to worry about. They're so, so far ahead. It doesn't even matter that they have low health bus and a couple. You shot Barrage. A couple low health members of CJ, but Intar with another ult. And another stun. Whoa, Sky gets taken out almost immediately. Yeah, CJ may have uh -oh. overstayed their welcome. I was going to say, can they turn it around? Bubbling and Kramer trying to make a difference in this team fight, but yeah, it's a little bit a little bit too much. See? Still, though, two inhibitors, of course, down, so Super Minion's yeah. pushing. Oh, and Tara coming in from the side, too. This is the push from CJ. Madlife blocking some damage. Lyra duking it out with Intara. They get the inhibitor turret. Madlife actually blocked the true shot barrage. It's still on cooldown now, so they yeah. were able to take them in. This will be a third inhibitor. Yeah, they're looking for uh, another engage. Iksu not quite finding it, though. Sky's smart with his positioning. Do a Soraka impression. Stand behind your carry, and your carry's Kramer. He's not in position at all. Oh, here we go. Coming in right now, a cell fault for Iksu. CJ backs off, go. now goes back in with that Fates call. A really measured team fight as Madlife makes out with just barely any health. There's a first kill coming in for Kramer. There's another one. Iksu with the Zonias. He's not going to last too long. There's a triple now for Kramer. And Song Yun and Snowflower don't look like they want to have anything to do Penta. with the rest of this game. Kramer wants it, though. He wants that Penta. I think he's just going to get killed, though. Oh, he's so lucky he got out. QSS. I guess Sorry, so. GA? GA, yeah. Now he's guys, coming. guys. Just All right. Kramer just really wanted to die there. Kind of silly, but they're going to get the Nexus in the end, and the prophecy is fulfilled. CJ gets the 2-1 victory over Afrika Freaks. GG.